What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys and gals, it's Jay Campbell, of course, the founder of the new Jay Campbell podcast. I'm very excited today to be joined in my, of course, virtual studio with the amazing, the illustrious Susan Bratton. Susan, how are you? Hey, hey, JJ. I am so good today. I've actually been, this is the first day I've been out of bed in about six days. I had um, just been holding all of the grief for everything that everyone's going through um, in my body. And try, it, it took me so long to get my family, my employees, myself ready for what what you know the the shit that's hit the fan yeah. that I kind of adrenally exhausted myself. So um, I'm very happy to be here with your bright, beautiful face today because you are illuminating my universe again. <laughs> awesome. Well, I appreciate you. And for you guys that don't know Susan, uh, let me just give you her bio really quick. I mean, most people probably will. She's a best-selling author and the publisher of lovemaking techniques and bedroom communication skills, including sexual soulmates, relationship magic, revive her drive. That's the best title of any book I've ever heard. The steamy yeah. sex ed video collection, hormone balancing. So she's a perfect match for here. The pump guide and thrust in time as a small selection. I mean, she's literally written 34 books. She's a dynamo. I mean, I don't know her since in the last 10 or 15 minutes, but I can just feel her energy. Hopefully she feels mine. Um, she has already familiarized herself with my works, which is insane. Yeah. We have so much to talk about and not, a, not enough time to do it because she has people that she's um, going to be speaking with. And I've already delayed her by 20 minutes because of the craziness. But as I always do on the Jay Campbell podcast, before we jump into the points, um, I ask, how did Susan get onto this podcast here today? But I don't think it's relevant anymore because we're now in, as you said, abject effery and the s has hit the fan I, I, i'm trying not to trigger the google algorithm but you know yeah. i know they're listening to me yeah. but truthfully what is your assessment of what's going on right now my assessment is that there are millions and millions of people home grounded fearful to go out dealing with economic insecurity personal anxiety and fear of illness and I want to do anything that I can with you in the next 30 to 45 minutes, Jay, to have people feel like it's not all going crazy, that there are, that we're going to get through this, that things will be okay, that there are coping mechanisms for handling anxiety and loneliness and financial fear. And I want to be a bright light for people listening and who love you today. Awesome. That's a very good analysis and summary. Um, okay, so step one, you're a person, male or female, might be a mom, might be a dad, might be a brother, might be a sister, all of the above, and you lost your job. Yeah. And you have absolutely no idea of the prospects of getting another job because we're in the S hit the fan land. Um, and we see what's going on around us. We know that our government is not really attempting to help us very well, if they are at all. What do you say to that person right now to get, grant them a sense of comfort and obviously serenity, but even more importantly, an idea of where they should put their focus on going forward? I think disruption creates incredible opportunity. Right. And you can be the kind of person who focuses on what happened which is a person who focuses on the past, right? or you can be a person who catastrophizes the future. But if you stay in the present and you say, what is the next thing that I need to do? What do I need to do right now? I need to feed myself well. Right. So I need to take care of my body. I need to give myself good rest. 
and I need to look for the next opportunity that is coming my way. I need to get myself, not, not physically out there, but <laughs> virtually out there sure. because there, it, wherever there's, wherever there's great problem, there is also great opportunity. Right. Everything has yin and yang. Yes. So what you want to do is you want to focus on what's going on right here. Are you safe? Are you in any physical danger? How do you assuage any physical danger? Keeping the body safe, keep your mind in good spirits, and look right in front of you at what the potential solutions are. And there are going to be a lot of jobs that are going to come out in the marketplace because of this tremendous disruption and they're yours for the having. So everybody is always recreating their, themselves if they're paying attention to it. This is a time of recreation. The phoenix rises right. from the ashes. Be the phoenix. Beautiful. And you get bonus points for using the word swaged. Very few people <laughs> use that word. Um, okay, so I want to talk, you know, you're a famous sexual, um, how, do, how would I even phrase you? You are known for your amazing ability to teach sexual prowess and sexual, enhancing sexual function, all these things. Yeah. What should couples or, you know, not even, well, no couples, that's husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. Um, what should they be focused on right now in this you know, social distancing, quarantine world that we're now living in? Because, you know, my wife and I have looked at this as an opportunity to have sex twice a day. Uh-huh. You've looked at it as an opportunity to have sex, but, you, but have, you ha have you had sex twice a I day? I knew you would literally call me out on that. Yeah. Um, a couple of that. times we have, but not every day. Right. Here's the thing. I see a lot of bravado and kind of bull crap being thrown around in the market. The sex yeah. toy companies are saying, sex toy sales are up. And everybody's saying, oh, the, you know, uh, let's drink quarantinis and have sex. And other people are like, yeah, you know, there's going to be this whole like burst of new children that are right, going right, to come right, after the, the pandemic right. called coronials. And, but what I think is that where we are right now and will be for quite a while sure. is that everybody is freaked out, yeah. stressed out, full of anxiety. And if you're in a partnered relationship across the gender spectrum, not just boy, girl, then what you're probably feeling is not very horny. You're probably feeling just intensely afraid. <laughs> and what I like to do is I like to tell people to stop worrying about having sex and start calming each other down. Yeah. The beautiful thing that we have is a benefit. When I hear couples saying, how am I going to live with my husband in the same house for the next month? I think to myself, wow, take a step back. At least you have somebody. Right. Think about all the people think who are at home in yes. their house yes. alone. Scared that, shitless. That is the worst when yeah. they're lonely and they're scared. Right. So if you're just scared, you should be thankful. Right. We, this is the time to be in our hearts. This is the time to lower our heart rates by being in gratitude, by thinking about the things that we still have, not the things that we have lost. Because life is a series of losses that we have to overcome. When you fall down, you get back up. You look at what happened and you learn from it. So calming each other down is the number one thing. And when two people have each other, they can do something that the psychotherapists call co-regulation, which means when you hold each other, you actually <sighs> calm your nervous systems down. When his deep breathing makes your breath go deeper, He's calming you down. When he's holding you in his arms and creating safety, he's calming you down. When he's running his hands on your body and you're running your hands on his body. And there are four kinds of touch. I want to take a little side trip with you, Jay, because Please. I think this is a really interesting thing. I learned it from one of my dear mentors, Sherry Winston. She taught me the four kinds of touch and I thought that's brilliant. The first kind is nurturing touch. That's how you hold a baby. Right. The second kind of touch is healing touch. That's what you do when you give a massage. The third kind of touch is 
sensual touch. And right. that's the touch of love and affection and appreciation. And then the fourth kind of touch is sexual touch. And that's the kind of touch that first moves you into relaxation and then takes your body into arousal. Right. So when you are holding your partner, when you're touching and co-regulating and generating a hormone called oxytocin, which sure. you're my hormone guy, so you sure know about that. When you're generating that oxytocin, what you're doing is you're creating bonding, connection, safety, security, a safe harbor. And there isn't going to be any sex if there isn't safety and right. intimate connection. Like right. it just doesn't work without it. So trying to get sex always backfires. If you know, you mentioned Revive Her Drive as one of the, it's not actually a book, it's actually a program. Uh -huh. It's like an online program for men to, men who say, well, she, you, when I married my wife, she used to have a lot of sex with me, but now she doesn't have sex with me. I get rejected all the time. She never wants sex. Um, I never know when she's going to want it. It's once in a blue moon. I'm always surprised about it. Every time I do something and I get sex. If I try it again, it doesn't work. Like they're confounded. They can't figure it out. And what Reviver Drive does is it explains to him in very simple ways how she's different than he is and the things she needs that he hasn't been giving her for her to want him for sex. And one of the foundations is the romance and the sensual touch, the giving without expecting it to get to get from it, the giving without expecting it to get to be more is actually what creates the safety for her to lean into wanting more. It's right. very confusing for a lot of people to think about that. So going back to the four kinds of touch, nurturing, healing, sensual touch, that's what ultimately generates sexual desire. Susan, you are amazing. You just confounded me i lost lost track i mean did you really have you really written 34 books yeah and you know what my thing is jay my thing is i always say what i do is i turn having sex into making love right. i like sexual bliss i like to have inc i like to ride orgasmic pleasure i call myself an orgasmonaut like I go out to the furthest reaches of orgasmic potential. And then I say, oh, okay, I've been there. Here's the map. Here's how to get there. So I've studied orgasm techniques for, for the male and female bodied sure. people. And what it takes to create what a lot of people like to think about as a soulmate connection or a sacred connection in sex. Right. But it doesn't have to be woo-woo. So I cut all the woo-woo crap out. And I just net stuff down to its simple terms, like the four kinds of touch is a really good example. I was like, oh, I never thought about it that way, but that totally makes sense, you know? <laughs> That's very cool. I'd probably prefer if you kept the woo-woo in it because, you know, I'm real woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so um, I, I want to be extremely respectful of your time. I probably were going to have you come on and do something much more detailed because you have an overwhelming um, knowledge base. Um, so for, for men, um, who have, um, you know, sexual potency issues, lack of strong erections, um, you know, other issues. I mean, obviously I talk about all the latest and greatest tip of the spear medical interventions, but like from a natural perspective, um, and again, it's perfect timing right now with men in their homes, unable to even get, you know, uh, med medicinal um, interventions. What would be a natural way to strengthen a man's, um, you know, like, as you call it, um, penile atrophy or just a lack of strong erections? Yeah. Um, here's what I always recommend to guys. And I like to throw everything at it because every man's physiology is so different sure. that you never know what components are going to work, but all of them will add to the solution. Right. Um, the first thing is obviously stop eating any fried food right. <laughs> and don't eat bottled salad dressing. Um, I have a salad dressing I call the new Viagra salad dressing, which is basic. I'm just going to give you the recipe really sure. fast because it's such a good one. It's a cup of avocado oil, organic avocado oil or olive oil and a quarter cup of vinegar and some Dijon mustard. You can add salt and pepper. You can add a dried herb. You can add a fresh herb, but it's basically just um, the mustard emulsifies the oil and the vinegar to together. So it's a cup and, a, and then a quarter, a cup of oil and a quarter cup of vinegar but you have to use good fat. The thing that most guys are missing is a lot of healthy fat. 
And so they don't eat enough nuts, seeds, avocados, right. coconut oil. They're, you know, they're not eating pasture raised, grass fed meats and sustainable fish. They're not taking cod liver oil or vitamin E, vitamin D, these types of things. So getting the essential fatty acids really in a good profile in your system is number one. Number two, by the time you hit 40, your nitric oxide production, your body's ability to produce nitric oxide, which is the vasodilator that floods your dick with blood. That, and that's for women too, by the way. We women have erectile dysfunction and loss of sensation and lack of lubrication, yeah. the same as men have the, the issues with um, erectile function and loss of sensation. And so um, nitric oxide, and so I made my own supplement for nitric oxide made from organic watermelon and organic spinach and put vitamin C in there because that really accelerates vasodilation when given with nitric oxide um, supplements. And um, I really, really like a guy to take you know, like 300 milligrams to 600 milligrams of a nitric oxide supplement every day. Mine is called Flow. I'll send you some if you'd like me to. Of course. It would be my Beautiful. pleasure. Yeah. Um, the other thing that most men don't do a good job of is a daily multivitamin, multimineral complex. So that's the other product that I made. So I think the three things are healthy fats, yeah. omega threes. Um, a nitric oxide supplement, of course, I like an organic one, and a vitamin mineral complex, which I, the ones that I created are called Drive, Boost, and Desire. And I put libido supplements, libido botanicals in them. Like what? And like what? What? I put fenugreek in one, I put tongue in the other, and I put tribulus terrestris in third. They're the only three that have been not only based on ancestral wisdom, yeah. but have also had clinical trials on humans and also work for men and women, or what I like to call people across the gender spectrum. So I have people herb cycle between the three. Every month you take a different one. It's got the vitamin mineral as the base with with the libido supplement stacked on it right in the capsule. So okay, I have to get you mad props here for a second. So first oh. off, you know, I'm the science research dork, right? Like I wrote the book that has like all the studies and all that. And we, we hardcore went down the path of all of those, fenugreek, Tonkat Ali, what was the other? Oh, Tribulus. Tribulus, and yeah. What most men are misled by, which you are clearly not doing, is that they think that those supplements increase testosterone, total testosterone, or free testosterone levels. They do not, but what they do do, what you very accurately just said, is they do raise and enhance libido. Yeah. And they clinically have been shown to do that. And so I always tell guys who go to the you know, GNCs and vitamin shops and all these places and buy it online to get their T-boosters, I'm like, dude, if you want to get T-booster, you got to use testosterone. Exactly. If you want to have enhanced libido, then go yeah. to work, but make sure you differentiate the two. So again, kudos to you. That is amazing. Thanks, you are literally a very strong, powerful wealth of knowledge, and I am very impressed by you, and I don't get very Aww. impressed by my guests very often. So I definitely am going to have to look into your books for sure. Um, okay, so more stuff on sex. Yeah, there's one more thing too on libido, oh, go, and that is... Eat some dark chocolate yes. with no sugar in it. Obviously, yes. a sugar-free, high cacao chocolate. The polyphenols yes. in dark chocolate yes. are very, very good for blood flow, as is maca. I like maca root, yep. but I can't put the maca in a capsule because you'd have to take a whole bunch of it. Yep. Maca is something that you need to put in your morning smoothie. So yeah. I really like that. And so you need your vitamin minerals for the things like zinc and the vitamin D and the boron. Boron, as I'm sure I don't have to tell you, Jay, but I'll just tell your listeners, you know, the boron is what you're missing right. when you have bound testosterone. The boron unhooks the protein molecule from the testosterone so you get free testosterone so you can feel turned on. And that's for women and men. That's the yeah. thing too is that Women don't realize that it's testosterone that gives us confidence. Of course. It's our balls and our sex drive and our, you know, sexual vitality and general vitality are just two sides of the same coin. So that's the first thing. The second thing is gut microbiome. Yeah. So for men and women alike, for people across the gender spectrum, a really healthy, easy crap every day. Like if the poop doesn't just slide out of your butt, Right. You're not getting enough good fats right. and there's something, and you're probably not getting enough fiber. So right. pooing is number one, sweating, peeing, hydration, 
keeping the gut moving. Those things are fundamentals that you have to have. And then for really good erectile function for both men and women, the nitric oxide is key. Women tell me within 10 days of taking a nitric oxide supplement, they're wet again. Yeah. Guys say they're hard or harder than they've been in a long time. It's yep. not Viagra. I don't right. want to mislead anyone sure, who sure, is a sure, listener. Sure, sure, sure. However, nitric, if you're taking Viagra and it's working, take nitric oxide with it because geez, yeah, it makes it work even better. You can have maybe take less, maybe get off of it, which right. is what I would like you to do. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean you, so you can just to add to that, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'll call you out if I disagree with anything and I have not yet. So you're really on it with the science. Um, a very low dose of Tadalafil, which is obviously mm -hmm. Cialis. Yeah. And when I say a low dose, I talk about a micro dose, a surgically precise dose of like two and a half to five milligrams a day. It's the sexual function is obviously well, well, well understood. And again, through the same things that you said through nitric oxygen stimulation uh, in the organ, the penis, it swells it, blah, 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 blah. But the, the other uh, improvements are to vascular pathways, yeah. to dendritic and synaptic pathways, because it gets rid of neurodimensional, um, you know, uh, gunk and buildup up there. So anyway, adding your uh, supplement would yeah, be flow. huge, because then again, you can also lower the dosage of the actual medication, which as you yeah. know, is always best. Minimum, minimum effective dose is always the best strategy. Yeah. And when S HTF, when stuff hits the fan like that. and deliveries are difficult, it's good not to be on any pharmaceuticals. What about so, when people run out of money and there's no food? And <laughs> Exactly. So I like that. Now, uh, you've also written in your book, Living a Fully Optimized Life, about the pea shots. I love pea shots. I highly recommend them. I think they are fantastic for regenerative sexual function. I like them in combination with Gaines Wave treatments. Shock wave treatments on the penis are fantastic. Yes, the yes. two in combination are beautiful, but it's a triumvirate. There's, there are three things that guys should do. And the third one is pump your penis. Use a vacuum erection device. I, um, I have a book. It's called The Pumping Guide. It's at pumpingguide.com. And I teach you exactly how to pump. And what's great is while you're at home and you can't go out during these times, this is a fantastic time to do a 13-week every other day pumping routine. And for women, I really like the V-Fit which is an intravaginal low-level laser light 3D red light therapy with vibration and heat. The heat re-establishes um, vaginal mucosa. The light stimulates the vaginal mucosal mitochondria, and the vibration is for Kegel toning. So literally my husband will sit, we'll sit there and watch television in bed. He'll uses, he'll uses what we call it the Whopper because it's a two cylinder vacuum erection device, penis pump system that works on both length and girth. Most nice. penis pumps are Chinese junk that is made, you know, from adult stores like or anything virus. on Amazon. It's just total crap. No gauge, no release mechanisms, not one size fits all and it hardly fits anybody. You got to yeah. get a good brand. So I like the Whopper. My husband will pump his penis while I use my V fit inside my vagina. And I'll tell you something, I'm pushing 60 J and I have never, my vagina is the vagina of a 30 year old woman. That's it amazing. is tight, plump, rich, velvety, orgasmic, lubricated. It has a grip on it. It's you know, <laughs> just incredible. And so these things reverse penile atrophy and vaginal atrophy because as we age, what do we do? We shrink, we dry out, right, we're right, desiccating right. and shrinking into ourselves. You see old people, yeah. they're little former versions of themselves and that's happening to, happening to us every day, especially right. when our growth hormone, another hormone far, falls off and we're not building the muscle we used to build. So we're wasting away that's called sarcopenia you get sarcopenis penicia right you get the sarcopenia of your dick you got to fix that and you get the same thing in your vagina and here's the saddest thing jay this is the bummer which is as his dick shrinks her vagina gets bigger because her, her vaginal right. walls get get thinner and thinner so her, her vaginal opening gets bigger and bigger right. at the same time his penis is shrinking so like you can't feel anything yeah, in there exactly. after a while if you don't stay on that stuff, you know? <laughs> right. no, you're, you're, you're totally right. Our, so, our sarcopenic penis. I love that. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, so pumpingguide.com is all about how to pump because 
you know, here's the thing about testosterone. Well, there's many things about testosterone. And one of the things about testosterone that you well know, Jay, is that testosterone is like, here's testosterone's personality. I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to do it, man. I don't care if it hurts. I'm just going to bump my dick as big as I can. I I don't care if it explodes because I'm going to make it as big as I can. Like that's what testosterone does to you. It makes you like a stupid idiot. You think you have to gut out the pain. That's not what you want to do when your penis is in a vacuum device. Right. You just want to pump slow and low, like you're making a stew. Right. It's got to, it's got to work really slowly. If you over pump, it's like, um, I grew up in Pennsylvania and when w- there were a lot of Amish people. I was about in- to say, were you Amish? Are you uh, deep? No, 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 not Amish. I'm like a runaway Amish girl. No, no, no. But, uh, they have this phrase that is, um, the faster I go, the behinder I get. Right. which means the more you try to make something happen, the right. less it happens. Yes. That's how it is with pumping. You have to do it every other day, very consistently, but literally you will get out of the shower and you will catch a glimpse of your dick and you'll be like, I can't believe that's my friggin' dick. So, so I have to ask you, do you, are you familiar with the rocket device? I am. Okay. Have they talked to you? Of course. Okay, cool. I was going to say, cause I mean, I'm their primary sponsor and I'm like, uh, I need to pass the baton. What do you mean, pass the baton? I like have them. You be their spokesperson. You're way more qualified than me about all the sexual stuff, you know. But um, do do you know the owners of them? Because I will connect you with them if you don't. I, I don't care to. Thank you, because um, I think for me personally, yeah. uh, number one, I haven't seen a shipping unit, and I know they've taken a lot of money. <laughs> from you people. are so dialed in. And um, number two, I just want to see clinical trials. Yeah. Uh, at the quality that I see with Gainswave. I yep. want to see data. I want to sure. see hundreds of urologists right. recommending it. Right. So I don't want to see anything bad about your sponsor because I appreciate when people are sponsoring podcasts. I, and I respect do everything job. you just said. No, I, no, no, no. They're not, they're not sponsoring the podcast. I'm just like their premier spokesperson. I've used it on myself twice. It definitely works. I've also used Gainswave. Um, it's the same to me. There's no difference. Uh, but I, I totally am with you. You know, you want to see it, a product in the hands of people and you want to see science behind it. Um, I'm, I'm confident that it, eventually it'll prove. I mean, you know, they went to ship it right when this all happened. So they kind of got screwed by that. But yeah, no, I'm totally with you on that. Um, okay. So to be fair, because I know you have somebody coming, I did want to add about prostate. I, I did want to last topic to talk about prostate massage. Oh, yeah. I have I'd no idea what that. iodine testicle painting is. So you're going to yeah. Yeah. So, um, first of all, iodine is a periodic element and, uh, it's what we need. That's what our thyroid basically eats is iodine. Right. And people are under the impression that they get iodine in their salt, but actually that's potassium iodide, not iodine and potassium iodide, uh, it kind of like blows off the salt. It, right. it, there's none left in your salt. Right. And you're not, unless you're eating a lot, and, you, and it's not sushi, you can't get it from the seaweed wrapped in the sushi, the nori, you need to get it from specific sea vegetables. And so uh, it's the kind of thing that most people are very, very deficient in iodine. And nascent iodine is the kind you wanna use. And um, Iodine is very important for thyroid function, and thyroid function is what um, manages your gonads, Absolutely. essentially. Yeah. So y- it regulates your um, sperm production, and um, so there are two things I like for the balls. One is red light therapy. Mm-hmm. Um, so just shining red light on your balls or right. just going out in the sunshine with your legs spread open and getting light on your crotch is very, yeah. very good at ge- generating the Leydig cell mitochondrial energy. Leydig cells create your testosterone. Susan, how many women can, can, uh, who, who can talk about Leydig cell mitochondrial energy other than you? Um, I don't know. No one. I'm a nerd, Jay. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm bowing down. I'm bowing down. I worship the balls. <laughs> No, but I mean, who cares about that? The knowledge that you have is amazing. Anyway, continue. I had to throw that in there. And then there, you can Google this and I'm learning about it right now, but the, um, a lot of men take nascent, especially men who are having prostate issues. You know, the prostate is like the breast. It ha- it's got its own microbiome right. and, um, it's a squeezing 
um, muscle that produces your semen. It mixes the semen and the sperm together and it contracts to right. shoot it out when you ejaculate. Right. And uh, the prostate requires some iodine. And m what men have done who have prostate issues, and again, I'm not a doctor, and I'm, I'm in, if you are a man who has done this successfully, please email me, susan at personallifemedia.com, because I want to hear from you. Um, there's just not enough information, but I really think this is a very interesting kind of home remedy our grandmothers knew that's been lost in the world of big pharma. Right. And man, men take nascent iodine and they paint the left testicle one day with a little bit of that nascent iodine. It's got that red color and it seeps into your skin. It comes through your skin. And then they'll, the next day they'll paint the right testicle and then they'll go back to the left testicle the next day. And then that's how they're absorbing the iodine that their thyroid needs to function and their prostate needs. So I just think that's a very interesting um, area of um, being, I'm, I'm inquisitive about that right now and very open to hearing from people who might have some experience with that. I mean, this and then prostate massage is so good. Um, <laughs> prostate, your prostate, which is just up your butt, um, you know, like about first knuckle in, it feels like a little walnut. Right. And if you can stick your finger up your butt and rub it, it's very, very good to move that tissue around in there. Just like it's really good to massage your breasts. Right. It massage and moving the fluids are very good for you. So self-massage or having your partner massage or using a tool. And some of the prostate tools that I think are really nice are ones that can be inserted rectally and then you have like a remote control so that you can use a variable speed vibration. And you can also pleasure yourself at the same time. And that's also very good for you. So you're moving your fluid. That's what you want to think about when you're doing prostate massage. It's also one of those kind of lost ways of sexual function. When men right. had prostatitis or prostate issues, or they were starting to have, um, you know, a, a need to pee a lot at night or difficulty urinating with trickles and spurts. Um, guys nowadays think, oh, well, I'm just old and this is what happens. No, yeah. that is not true. Right. And this is where things like prostate massage can really come in handy. So I like homemade DIY self-care with lost ways whenever possible. But I like using a vacuum erection device. You can't be more simple than a sticking your sh schlong in a thing and sucking the blood in there, you know, right, or right. eating watermelon for citrulline, you know, like eating spinach, getting your nitrates and your nitric oxide moving. But sometimes supplements work too. And those are great. And it's nice when you can have a fully functioning, wonderful erectile system. Susan, I'm mind blown. I mean, I, I know I have to let you go because you have somebody coming up. Um, we got to do another podcast and go deeper. Um, this is we didn't phenomenal. even get to talk about seduction. That was what I wanted to okay, talk well, about today. If you can go, if you can, can you go another five minutes and talk about seduction? I can, but let's just save it for the next time. Okay, that's fine. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's perfect. Um, how can people connect with you, work with you, buy your products? What's the easiest way for them to get, to, to get a hold of you? Um, my main website where I've published thousands of articles that you can search on any topic is personallifemedia.com. And I've done hundreds of videos on sex techniques on YouTube and you go to betterlover.com and you can find those. That's where I kind of get dressed up in crazy, sexy outfits and teach sexy sex ed. And then um, if you want to know kind of the real Susan Bratt and the girl that takes a walk every day in the woods here and, you know, see my cute husband and my cute daughter and stuff like that, um, that's on Instagram at Susan Bratton, S-U-S-A-N-B-R-A-T-T-O-N. Beautiful. Are you in Southern California? Northern. Where? 
I live in Marin County on okay. Mount Tamalpais, where mountain biking was invented Very and uh, right by the largest redwoods in the world. Oh, and man, then I, I do have a beach house down in Encinitas, California. That's where my, girl, my, my daughter, if, if, they're, if they were letting kids on the beach, she'd be out there surfing right now. <laughs> That's so amazing. Susan, honestly, it was an honor to have you on my podcast today. Oh, Jay, it's been amazing to me too. Thank you so much. No, I mean, seriously, I, I, I definitely, when this is over, I'm going to reach out to you. Um, but uh, wow. I mean, honestly, uh, tremendous. You guys obviously support the amazing people that come on my podcast. Um, and remember, raise your vibration to yeah. optimize your love creation. We'll see you guys soon.